nice to see you again. We're talking about literally hundreds of billions of dollars. I just want to put this in the really blunt way. We will throw as many taxpayers under the bus as it takes. Can, can I see a show of hands? How many people here vote for Elizabeth Warren to yeah. run America? When financial regulatory reform comes up, TV bookers have a favorite guest, Elizabeth Warren, who speaks in simple and passionate language. Dad gummit, somebody has got to stand up on behalf of middle class families. When you say it like that, when you look at me like that, I know your husband's backstage, I still want to make out with you. <laughs> She's the chief booster of a new consumer financial protection agency. In fact, it was her idea in the first place. This will be an agency, start to finish, side to side, top to bottom. It's about families, it's about consumers, it's about consumer products. As Ms. Warren likes to point out, the government already has the Consumer Product Safety Commission, which monitors tangible products like toasters. She wants to do the same for credit cards and mortgages. She's been pushing her message for years, including to Michael Moore. You can't buy a toaster in America that has a one in five chance of exploding. But you can buy a mortgage that has a one in five chance of exploding, and they don't even have to tell you about it. Some very influential people like the idea. If you bought a toaster, and the toaster blew up in your face. There'd be a law. But when you get a credit card or you get a mortgage, there is no law in the books that says that if that explodes in your face financially, uh, somehow you're going to be protected. Ms. Warren is a Harvard law professor. And in Washington, she's head overseer of the bank bailout for Congress. Thank you very much, Mr. Milstein. The job was an ill-defined one. But she used that to her advantage, to extend her reach and comment on all things financial. Washington's reaction has been mixed. Economist Dean Baker generally agrees with her approach. I think you're hard-pressed to find another sort of oversight commission like this that's had anywhere near as much impact. George Mason law professor Todd Zawicki follows regulatory issues closely. He's less of a fan. Some people have said, I think with some justification, that it's you know perhaps a little too high profile, a little bit too much of sort of a, a platform for, uh, for self-promotion. Some sort of consumer financial protection agency seems close to reality. The House of Representatives already passed a bill, and Senator Christopher Dodd included it as part of the financial reform bill. But we've never, ever had before a place where, where financial products are, are going to be considered. Ms. Warren supports Senator Dodd's plan, saying it's a step in the right direction. If it does pass, fans like Congressman Barney Frank want badly for her to run it. Others feel just as strongly that she should not. And there's a question about whether Ms. Warren herself wants to play by Washington's rules. Loose cannons would probably be an appropriate term to apply in her case. So. I'll tell you my order of priorities. Mm -hmm. So my first one? is a strong consumer agency, independent, real teeth. Mm -hmm. My second option is no agency at all and lots of blood and teeth left on the floor. And so what you don't want is a kind of reduced, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> a kind of symbolic version. This is no longer about symbols. I'm uh -huh. tired of symbols. Democrats downplay her possible role, and she does the same, in large part so the debate doesn't become about her. Would you really say no to this job? This shouldn't be about me, and, and I just don't want it to be about me. So I'm just not. I'm not going to talk to you about this. Ms. Warren is a natural outsider to finance circles, born in Oklahoma, the daughter of a janitor. My parents, they had had a lot of hard knocks. I learned early on what debt means and how vulnerable it makes people. Now she holds a named professorship at Harvard Law School. One of your students described your method to me as Socratic with a machine gun. <laughs> that would be about right. But the question is, does, this, does the Socratic method work well in Washington? Washington is not my classroom. No. I mean, that's, there's the difference. I'm part of the Congressional Oversight Panel, not for Washington, but for the rest of America. She says she hasn't talked to President Obama since the campaign, though she speaks regularly to his advisors. Sometimes I think I'm just cheering on their better angels. Uh, not that I'm really educating them about something new. 
But no matter the fate of the agency, you'll likely see a lot more of Elizabeth Warren. You're natural. What a great gift to have. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much for being broadcast.